You are now watching this Reef Live. Let's tap into New York. Living on minimum wage in New York. Chat, I heard the housing market is extremely hard to get into. I heard that they're going through a lot of things in this housing market, you know. It's kind of hard to get housing. So let's see what it's like to live in on minimum wage in New York. Let's see. This is one of the biggest, you know, cities in the, in the United States. We all can agree. Everybody know about New York, you know. It ain't the city of dreams of Los Angeles. It ain't Miami, but definitely it's one of them. It's one of the top three. It's definitely in the top three of the city. Yeah, it's definitely in the top three, you know. So we're just gonna tap in and see what they're hitting for. I'm JR, I'm 26. I live in Manhattan on $22,000 a year. <laughs> that was the one. That was the one. Uh, what? Manhattan on $22,000 a year. Getting that money, getting <laughs> that straight to it. Drop D. Hello, hello. Come on in. Okay, this is a this nice is pl place. Oh, shit, this is it. Open. It's one room. Wait, time out. I was like, this is a nice place, and it stopped. It was a nice place until we we saw it all the way open. I was like, okay, he working hello, hello. something. And then Come the room on stopped. In. So this is the place. This is it. It's one room. That's it. It's a shoebox. Yep. Wall to wall. And what we got? We got <laughs> 72 inches. Inches. We're out of tape. <laughs> So this is only 12 foot and we are at, so I, I'd say this is 14. 14 foot by six foot. 84 square. Oh, feet. okay. Well, plus your bed space. Money, baby. Money, so what is the rent money, of this apartment? Mm. The news systems are being flooded with facts on the coronavirus and many others that aren't true in order to scare us and put us under martial law, then sending us to FEMA camps. Mm -hmm. This is done to bring new order Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Open your eyes and see. I can see it. I can see it very clearly. Look at me. I'm looking straight at it. I see everything that's going on right now. I can see it all. 687 a month. 8,200. 100 the tiny room. You can't bring no type of shoddies in there. Where the room to make noise. I can't get freaky deaky in there. You got to make it work. You got to make it work. You got to make it $44 work. $44 a year to live in Hell's Kitchen. You can't beat that. <laughs> no, you can't. You Come can't on. beat that. You can't beat that. How did you find this apartment? <laughs> Craigslist. I had no idea what I was doing. This was like kind of like a back burner apartment. Like, worst comes to worst if I can't find anything. You know, I was looking for bedrooms in Brooklyn. Seven, eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars for a bedroom. Right? I didn't find anything. This was my only, like, saved tab. You can't increase it legally five percent. More than five percent yearly. For as long as I stay here. Right? My neighbors next door, they've lived here for twelve years. Front door, right? Mm -hmm. Bye, Mandy. Right next to it is my kitchen, but I'll cook like chicken wait, and a wait, skillet. Wait, wait. You got a cat living in this condition? Why would you have a cat? Why do y'all do pets when y'all ain't got, you know what, man? Some eggs, soups. It's not bad. Got my microwave, pots and pans up there. What I'm most excited about, I have a whole ass closet, right? Towels, hats, clothes, shoes. My air conditioner fits in here. Yeah, this thing, it was here when I moved in actually, so. I have bills, letters to home, postcards, all that, I'll write them here. Okay. Keep my coffee. Okay. Probiotics, everybody. Okay. Very important. Y'all need that. Kitty treats. One a day, okay? Just one a day. That's for later though. She's already had one today. It's a strict one a day policy. And then I'll keep like, you know, oil up here, cooking supplies. Below okay. is kind of random stuff. Okay. Medicine. Okay. Oh, yeah, watercolor set too. So I'll go walk around, just watercolor different Water buildings colors. that I, like I really, it. really like. So this window right here, we're in it, in the painting, right? Makes so sense to me. So walking around New York City, I feel like I'm in this beautiful painting. So I wanted to put that on paper, kind of what it feels like. That's um, a nice painting. There's a photo taken in 1940. This is the building. This is my living room. It's Manny's living room, actually. Store stuff in my nice little bookcase. Cameras, all that Ooh. stuff. This nice wing back chair and the ottoman. It's like, I can't afford to go buy brand new furniture. I don't really know anyone who does that. Salvation Army, I thrifted it. It was like 80 bucks. Find cool stuff for the cheap. The window. What 
is it, it opens doing? all the way. This is probably my favorite thing about my whole apartment. If you look outside, you can see Times Square. The H&M building, it pokes up over the walk-ups. Okay. This is really, I've dreamed of this, right? That's Never nice did I think of sunlight as a commodity, right? That's how I have plants. So in the wintertime, the sun's facing this way. In the summertime, in the spring, it'll hit all these plants right on. They flourish, they become so green. My Monstera like lifts up, it's crazy. Mandy loves it, it's good for her. She gets some fresh air. But this right here, check it out. So, do I go to the gym? No, it is so expensive, right? Yeah, I can't I can afford that. that. Yeah. So if you back up, check it out. Every day, yeah, every morning, I lay out the mat, I got my yoga. Yeah, you can't beat that. A zero dollar gym in Manhattan, what the heck? Come on, I bike to work. Every single day, right? So I go to the Hudson, okay. go down a couple miles to Chelsea. Okay. I bike every single day, rain, snow, heat, I don't care. When I'm seeing people, yeah, I take the train. But you know, how many people can fit a bike in their apartment? So how much per month? What? How much would you say you spend on transportation? I don't know, 20 bucks? Even if I'm walking, I'm biking. The train is kind of like, when I'm feeling a little lazy. <laughs> Actually, do you want to come to work with me? No need to pre whatever job he got i do not want to see it i'm gonna be honest Twenty-two thousand the whole year yeah i don't want that yeah i don't know what to do with that i don't know what to do with that talking about want to come to work no you shouldn't be going there man i'm a barista trainer so i bring in new people and make them feel welcome i show them something i'm super passionate about i teach people how to make latte art how to make siphons, Chemexes, all that great stuff. Like, that's okay. my job. That's how I can live here in this apartment for six eighty seven a month. I'm a regular person. I don't make a salary. I get paid by the hour. Yeah. Living here. Right. Yeah. And let me ask you, would you say that you earn enough to live comfortably in New York City? Yes, absolutely. If okay. you be smart about it. So this is your bed up here? Yeah, so you go up the staircase, and up here, the penthouse. Chat was talking about there ain't no room to get your freak on. Look at all that upstairs area. Baby. Look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> yeah, dude. And it's great, because you know, I keep the window open for the cat. The city noise is honestly nice to fall asleep to sometimes, when people aren't screaming. If I come this way, my bathroom. It's right across the hallway. Oh, that's actually perfect. That's literally perfect. Oh, that's it's actually nice. It's like perfect. almost bigger than my apartment. <laughs> my favorite part is this little skylight we it's have. It's a up. shared bathroom. When it rains, it's like... And a toilet? In Manhattan? No, I'm just kidding. Is this a shared bathroom? Yes, but uh, no problems whatsoever. This is good. Yeah, super respectful. I've never had an issue with that. Not once ever. And you see how clean it is. Spotless. It did look clean. Yeah, it, it did look very clean. I can't lie. Right, we both put in the work. What's the dream? Why New York City? Music is everything to me. I get a little bashful. And I figured, you know, I love people and I love places and okay. putting yourself out there. Yeah, I have a small space. I don't have a lot of stuff. But what I have, what I you love. Have. I appreciate it more than I ever, okay. ever did anywhere else I live. Okay. This bike, it takes me everywhere. I love this bike, I respect this bike. This guitar, that is the most distilled way of self-expression that I have in my life. Mm. So I take care of it. I oil the fretboard, I change the wires, right? I do all this stuff to make sure, you know, it stays okay. It's like, I'm not just gonna go out and buy another guitar, getting a little, deep and stuff, but yeah. What advice would you give to someone who has a big dream and wants to move to New York City? Is it possible in 2023? Yes. It is possible, right now. I gave up almost everything in my life. Family, friends, possessions, my car. <laughs> I wanted to be here more than anything else. This is the first place since my hometown that I feel like I belong here. Just go for it. Mark Twain said, go out on a limb, right? That's where the fruit is. New York's this beautiful tree that produces fruit year round. I'm picking these apples. The big apple. Right? I'm eating them. I'm thriving because of that. I get the most, the most actual, realistic, full human experience here. I walk down that street, I hear French, Arabic, sometimes Italian, mm. Spanish. In my hometown, do you know what I heard? English. So I'm getting this insane experience of all the cultures put together in one little five borough bubble. I make 22K a year, hourly. You gotta want it, right? You can't just kinda, 
oh, I guess I'll go to New York. No, like I am going to live in New York. Would you say right now living in New York City is worth it? Yes, 100%, 100%. If I was living in half the size of the space, paying twice as much, it would be worth it to me, Eric. No doubt in my mind, no hesitation. I would have still done everything to get here for that, period. Okay, okay, that still don't make sense, but okay, okay, okay. He liked New York so much that just walking down the street hearing people talk, he he living in that small apartment making that money because just the atmosphere, the environment makes him happy. Just the idea of being in New York makes him happy. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know. He he ain't mentioned like how how many friends he got in the city. How how he be kicking it with people because his main focus is other people. Like it just enjoying time in the city, the atmosphere, how how the New York life is. I don't know. He be going to like a lot of New York events, a lot of parties. We ain't get into much of that, but he love his guitar, his bike. I don't know, chat, but makes sense to me. Y'all gotta tap in.